Today we're gonna to talk about the twin tension skate block. Uh, this is to bring a patient down and away from a structure. Uh, the ground control side here consists of two anchor straps, two carabiners for our anchors, an anchor plate, two carabiners, and, and then two clutches uh, for a twin tension system. Make sure whenever we're using a vehicle, we're locking out, tagging out, and you tie off your clutches when they're not in use. Okay, now we're gonna talk about our patient connections here. Our two tracking lines go up to the tower to a change in direction. Come back dead end to single, two single pulleys here. We got two shorty jumpers here. It's two prusiks that are just basketed. And then the two carabiners they're opposing into our sternal attachment on our victim. This can also, we can also hook the hot seat up to this as well. These shorty jumpers here act as a, a way to keep our victim from getting their fingers in our rigging up here. All right, we're gonna talk about the top side of our twin tension skate blocks here. Two anchor straps, two carabiners, two single pulleys. Basically these act as redirects that go back down to our victim. Get up to our victim, we wanna be six to 10 feet away from them. And the guys on the ground can tension this to bring our patient either out of their system, if they're hanging by a strap, or if they're on the tower, it'll bring them up away from the tower and then they can skate them back down. Uh, the entire system is set up prior to ascending up the tower. Our rescuer will just basically put bites in these ropes, attach them to himself, and uh, ascend up the tower. A general rule of thumb whenever we're rigging these is we want our anchor about the same distance away from the height of where we're going to attach these. And also whenever these come to the ground, you're looking at about a third of the distance of the height that these are attached. They're only going to come about a third of that to the ground. 